very, very good. Yeah. Easy to install, because you, yeah. you guys installed them yourself, didn't you? Yeah, we do. Oh, we've got a guy that comes in and helps us. We've done the room upstairs, uh, the parents' room now. Yeah. And this was the latest one, was last weekend. Yeah. Now this is what a typical carpet tile floor can look like. Um, mm. You've got this section here, which is what it, what it is. It's just, it's all gone uniform. Originally when they were put down, they wouldn't have looked like this, but the colours get better with one another as they bed in. And this gets a lot of traffic. It yeah. does now look like one floor and not carpet tiles too closely. For a certain cost, you've got an A grade tile. Here you've got a B grade tile which has more wear. What you've got is um, colour variation from different wear sections out of the office. And whoever installed them needs to be spoken to. When carpet tiles are uh, given to the customer, given to on a pallet, and the customer has the opportunity to go through and pick the best of the best, and there's lots of tiles on pallets that have never been walked on a post, or some that have been under office chairs, high traffic areas. So this is probably a mixture of both. It really is up to the customer to make the decision on what tile they want. You can see here a lot of a lot of effort's been put into picking the tiles. It took hours. I think it might have taken a couple of days. It's about 3,000 tiles. This is really good for, for, for um, a representation of what carpet tiles look like in all different environments as far as how much you spend, how much you get, how much time you want to put in to what it looks like. So you do get what you pay for if you want to select it or something like that. This looks brilliant. To me, for a second hand product, carpet tile, these carpet tiles retail for 24 bucks each. And I think they got them for about four bucks. We did. So like, it's a, for a little bit of discount, you get a little bit of colour variation. Like, whoopie doo, Basil. You don't even notice it after a week. Very, very easy. It's the easiest job I think we could do around here. I've noticed in um, the application on carpet tiles, it must be on a flat floor. So if you have a look up here, if you see um, under this, this floor there's some existing vinyl or some other floor covering that they rubber. So rubber. They haven't wanted to remove so they laid it over. You see where the tiles just kick up a little bit so if you're putting carpet tiles down put them on a flat floor. Otherwise you get steps like that. But that'll be all coming up in our promotional video of how to lay carpet tiles. It's easy. So that's coming so keep stay tuned for that and we'll show you the do's and don'ts and an 85 year old lady can lay carpet tiles, anybody can lay. There's no limit what you can do or size that McMats can't deal with. Don't care if it's a dog kennel, canary cage, or something this big, you get treated the same. As long as we get your money. But they're so easy to lay here. Yeah, oh, this would be dynamite. The carpet layers would charge a fortune, and here, just a normal lay person can put them down. You, know, you don't have to worry about paying someone. Yeah, like, this is an acceptable floor, in my opinion, for a particular price, A, B or C. So the A grade tiles, as you've seen downstairs, look pretty sneaky. Then you, you don't want to spend that much money if you can get a load of a $2 product. Here you go, $2.20 product. It's even better than heights in this one. Yeah, so you've got different wear. This tile here's been underneath an office chair, and the pile's totally flattened. And the tile next to it, was brand new, never walked on. But the opportunity here for um, people who lay their own tiles is to lay them and then go through them, take that tile, put it over there, grab that tile, put it over there. What's under the table would be good tiles. Put all the good tiles in the walk area and the tiles that are a little bit iffy underneath all the uh, furniture, they're like spot on one doll. Well, this is a parent's room, so there's kids running around. It's just fantastic, it doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter. So no. There's another thing like with kids and you know like they do their stuff, why would you put down like the, the best you can get when it's going to be hammered? And the, the kids do hammer everything, don't they? Oh yeah. Well that's what they're here for. Yeah. Yeah. Oops. Little Johnny's just had an accident. Peel the tile up. Yeah. Take it out. Hit it with the hose, drip dry, put back down. <laughs> Somebody was using the dishwasher to clean these things up. <laughs> Work. I heard that. that. <laughs> I heard that. Just spins round and round and round. <laughs> this isn't recommended by um, domestic dishwashers. <laughs>